The battle for first in the Drivers' and Constructors' Championship is over. Max Verstappen's 549 points ended both those battles races ago. But this season has still been incredibly competitive behind him, and the fight for second in the Constructors' Championship is incredibly close. Ferrari and Mercedes have traded blows all season, but the Silver Arrow's inconsistent form could cost them at the worst possible moment. In this video, I'll highlight the intense battle for P2 in the Constructors' Championship and tell you the likely winner. Abu Dhabi and the Yas Marina circuit is not a happy hunting ground for the Mercedes F1 team. Obviously, from 2014 to 2020, the team had plenty of success, but you could say that of every track on the calendar during that time. Mercedes were utterly dominant. Then, 2021 happened, and I don't need to remind you of that. The pain inflicted to Toto Wolff during that race is still coming up two years after it finished, but I'll talk about that in more detail later on. In 2022, after four podium finishes in the previous three races, which included the race win in Brazil, Hamilton didn't finish and Russell could only manage fifth place. That race featured an incredible battle between Lewis and Ferrari's Carlos Sainz, as well as some intra-team fighting between the two Mercedes, before Lewis Hamilton had to retire with just a few laps left due to a hydraulic issue. There were prizes to fight for in 2022 as well. Mercedes were just 19 points behind the second-place Ferrari team in the Constructors' Championship before the race started. Leclerc was well clear of both Mercedes in the Drivers' Championship, but Carlos Sainz was hunting down Hamilton for fifth place. With Lewis's car out of the race, Ferrari secured their second place and Sainz finished fifth. This season, the Drivers' Championship is over for Mercedes. They're guaranteed to finish third and eighth. The battle for second in the Constructors' Championship is still wide open, though. Just like in 2021, after an entire season of races, the final result will be decided in a single 58-lap race. Just four points separate third-place Ferrari from second-place Mercedes. After 21 races, this is now the biggest prize up for grabs. After a wild season of car overhauls and fluctuating form, the two are separated by a razor-thin margin. The difference between the two positions is thought to be about $30 million in prize money. Even in the world of Formula 1, that isn't pennies. That is money that will go straight into Toto Wolff's back pocket or to Piero Ferrari, the current owner of the Scuderia and Enzo's second son. There is a huge amount of pressure on both teams to secure that place. We now need to refocus ahead of Abu Dhabi. It's a tight battle in the Constructors' Championship and we hope to be able to deliver a strong result there, said Mercedes team principal Toto Wolff, following the inaugural Las Vegas Grand Prix in the team's post-race report. It's going to be an exciting battle with Ferrari for P2 in the Constructors' Championship in Abu Dhabi, added Mercedes trackside engineering director Andrew Shovlin. We'll use the next few days to prepare for that. The points gap is small enough that it will, in all likelihood, come down to who scores the most next Sunday. Everything to play for. Everything really is to play for, but it is Ferrari who have the advantage going into the race, despite being four points down. Even with the penalty handed down to Carlos Sainz Jr. that dropped him to P12 at the start of the Las Vegas Grand Prix after qualifying in P2, Sainz fought back into the points to finish sixth. Pair that with Charles Leclerc's second place finish and the team picked up 16 points on the Silver Arrows, inching to within just four points. It has been advantage Ferrari for a while though, even with Mercedes being in the ascendancy on the table. In the last five races, Mercedes have scored 16.4 points a race while Ferrari have 20.6. If that pattern continues in Abu Dhabi, Ferrari will finish 0.2 points ahead of Mercedes. Obviously, that's impossible. We don't do fractional points in F1 apart from exceptional circumstances, but the stats are with Ferrari. The further back you go, the better it gets for them as well. If you go to the last nine races, that gap gets even bigger. Mercedes have scored 15.5 points per race, while Ferrari have been scoring 21.9 points. On top of that, Ferrari have had two did-not starts in the last five races. If Carlos had started in Qatar and Charles had started in Sao Paulo, Ferrari would be in second already. On form, Ferrari should easily take down Mercedes in Abu Dhabi, and the team knows it. I can't wait to race in Abu Dhabi next week, said Sainz following the Las Vegas Grand Prix. The fight for second is still on, and we'll do everything we can to take it. Team principal Fred Vasseur said, We must keep the momentum going into Abu Dhabi. Both drivers are doing a fantastic job, and I believe we can catch Mercedes in Abu Dhabi. We won in Singapore when Red Bull was off the pace, but this time we were fighting them right up to the final corner. Of course, optimism doesn't win you any points in Formula 1, 
and Mercedes won't be giving up on this war without a fight. After a Las Vegas GP race day, which did not go their way, despite the W14 showing much improved pace compared to the race before in Brazil, Mercedes need to regroup ready for this final showdown. Lewis Hamilton, who finished seventh in Vegas, twice lost ground in fortunate collisions, while George Russell saw fourth place turned into eight by a five-second penalty for colliding with Max Verstappen. Sad to say, yet another time, that we had pace but just no result, team principal Toto Wolff said after the race. George, after the incident with Verstappen, where he got the penalty, that was pretty much game over. The car had pace for the front, maybe not to challenge Max, but behind. It is what it is. Despite the disappointing performance at a race that Mercedes led the support of, Wolf was optimistic of their chances in the season's final race. We have seen pace-ish today. I think we hopefully can recover and score solid podiums. Two years on from the controversial conclusion to the 2021 driver's title race in Abu Dhabi, when Max Verstappen and Lewis Hamilton started level on points, Toto Wolf is still hurting. He said numerous times this season that he wants to get Lewis the eighth title he deserves. With a trip back to Abu Dhabi this weekend, Toto took a thinly veiled swipe at former race director Michael Massey, saying, We're going there pretty much on equal points, with a proper race director, so that should be fine, and let's race. Speaking about the actual race and the battle for second in the constructors, he said, It's all down to the last weekend. They are very quick. They've done a good job. I think we could have been on par in the Las Vegas race, but the results show something different. So let's race. To be honest, it's good to have P2 as a positive to finish the season, but P2, P3 for me, that doesn't make it better for me. So who will actually come out on top after the sand settles in Abu Dhabi? Recent form indicates that Ferrari will be the victor, though Formula 1 is very rarely as simple as that. Nonetheless, the Scuderia will be the favourites to secure second despite starting the race behind Mercedes in the championship. Since introducing a new floor in Austin, Mercedes have only finished on the podium in Mexico and have only had one other top five finish. Ferrari have had three podiums and a top five finish in addition to that. Despite Mercedes saying some positive sounding things about the new floor, confirming direction and proving they know what they're doing to the car for next season, their drop in performance since Austin is impossible to ignore. In fact, the last two races have been two of their worst all season in terms of points scored. Those around them have not brought upgrades either. Mercedes just don't seem to be able to get that new floor working how they want it to. If they can perfect their setup, then the performance is presumably there for them, and they will be able to take the fight to Ferrari, but they haven't been able to do that for the last two races. To add to the difficulty of getting their car set up right, Lewis Hamilton won't be behind the wheel of the W14 in FP1. Mercedes used the first of its mandatory sessions with a rookie driver in Mexico by placing Frederick Vesti in George Russell's car. The F2 driver impressed team boss Toto Wolff with his performance, even though Vesti came 19th after completing a low-speed testing program for the Silver Arrows, where 26 laps were completed. The Dane will step into Lewis Hamilton's car at Yas Marina Circuit, continuing a promising 2023. He's won five races in F2 this season and is second in the standings, 25 points behind leader Theo Poucher ahead of the season finale. Charles Leclerc will suffer the same fate with reserve driver Robert Schwartzman, taking over his SF23 for the session. But with Ferrari seeming to have their car figured out, Leclerc is likely to be less bothered about losing a session of practice than Hamilton will be. But who do you think will come out on top after Abu Dhabi? Can Merck hold their nerve or will Ferrari find the performance to take them down? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, and if you want more F1 news and analysis like this, then make sure to subscribe to the channel. Until next time, drive safe and bye for now.